स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड सब्जेक्ट वैल्यू एजुकेशन टॉपिक क्लीन नीट एंड ब्यूटीफुल हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम मीरा सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन वैल्यू एजुकेशन सो लेट्स बिगिन स्टूडेंट पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू स्टूडेंट डू यू नो हु इज पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू ओके वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू वॉज बॉर्न ऑन द फोर्टींथ ऑफ नवम्बर एटीन एटी नाइन स्टूडेंट जवाहरलाल नेहरू ऑल्सो नोन एज पंडित नेहरू वॉज अ पॉलिटिकल लीडर ऑफ इंडिया एंड फ्रीडम फाइटर His contribution to the Indian history of independence is immense. He was also very fond of children and was commonly referred to as Chacha Nehru by them. Nehru was also a close associate of Mahatma Gandhi and thrived with Gandhi as his mentor. So student, let's see what story is there about Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. So let's begin. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was speaking to a huge crowd of people as it was a very hot day. People were thirsty. So they were eating nice juicy oranges. But they began to throw the peels all over the place. Nehru saw this and he was annoyed pandit jawaharlal nehru was speaking to a huge crowd of people so student what happened one day when pandit jawaharlal nehru was giving the speech to the audience to the people who is gathered over there student pandit jawaharlal nehru has also given speech in any states in that speech student about the they will say that what Uh, what are the facilities are there for the betterment of the people what they are doing for the betterment of the people so all this thing pandit jawaharlal nehru was speaking in their speech so student it was summer day and on that day the people came to hear the speech of jawaharlal nehru but student at that day it was a very hot day and the people were very thirsty so what they uh, started doing they uh, they started eating the oranges and when they finished eating the oranges what they are doing they are throwing the peels all over the place they are throwing the peels of the oranges here and there they are not throwing the oranges in a dustbin they are eating the oranges and they are throwing here and there and making the place dirty student when nehru ji saw that the people are eating oranges and throwing the peels on the ground he felt very bad he is not happy so when he finished his speech he came down from the stage and he himself start picking up the orange peels the people felt ashamed they quickly got up and collected all the litter and put it in the litter boxes nehru had taught the people a lesson without saying a word so student when people saw that nehru ji is picking up their thrown peels they felt ashamed of themselves because such a big person is collecting the peels and throwing it in dustbin so student the people quickly got up and collected all the litters means collected all the peels and put it in the dustbin so student instead of saying or teaching the value of cleanliness nehru ji taught the people a lesson because sometimes action speaks more than word now student let's see given below are some good and bad habits on cleanliness and neatness so student color the birds that tell you the right thing so here you have to color the bird who is telling the right thing okay student so let's see now student let's see given below are some good and bad habits on cleanliness and neatness 
so student color the birds that tell you the right thing so here you have to color the bird who is telling the right thing okay student so let's see so student let's see this one being clean and tidy make me so student when you are clean and tidy it makes you what so the first thing uh, i will help you it makes you healthy correct you feel nice so what are the good habits so you have to color the bird who tells the good habit so student let's see this one being clean and tidy make me so student when you are clean and tidy it makes you what so the first thing uh, i will help you it makes you healthy correct you feel nice so what are the good habits so you have to color the bird who tells the good habit so student in the first story how pandit nehru ji show the way of cleanliness to the people in the same way let's see this another story student it is very important to keep things in the proper place or you might suffer for not doing it like the boy meher did so student let's see in the story what meher did so student in the first story how pandit nehru ji show the way of cleanliness to the people in the same way let's see this another story student it is very important to keep things in the proper place or you might suffer for not doing it like the boy meher did so student let's see in the story what meher did student there was a quiz competition for standard 10th the students had to find out a lot of details in geography about our north america they had to read a lot of matter and look into magazines and library books mihir was clever he took a lot of trouble and completed his paper so student when we are uh, participating in quiz competition we have to prepare for that correct student so that we can win the competition so student in the same way there is a quiz competition for standard 10th the student had to find out a lot of detail in geography about north america so student for the quiz competition the student has to search the thing uh, from the magazine library book or from other sources so that they will able to win the competition so in the same way mihir has also took a lot of trouble and completed his paper but on the day he had to give up the paper he could not find it why did this happen student because though mihir was clever he was not tidy he left the paper on the table it flew off and the maid put it in the dustbin so student mihir has completed his work by writing all the information about north america for quiz competition but student after completing the paper he has not kept the paper in its proper place so when the mihir had to give up the paper he could not find it why he could not find it because he has not kept the paper in its place so and he kept the paper on the table so because of that the paper flew from the table and the maid Uh, pick the paper because when the maid is cleaning the room she find the paper so that's why she throw the paper in the dustbin so student when mihir won the paper and he started searching the paper but he could not find the paper because the maid throw the paper in the dustbin that's why he is not able to find the paper that's why he is very angry and then he started shouting to everyone he started scolding the maid and he blames other that why you have not kept the paper why you have thrown the paper in the dustbin but all this mistake is who uh, student mihir mihir mistake is there because he has not kept his paper in its proper place but he is not blaming himself he is blaming the maid and everyone 
Student, a clean mind has good thought of kindness, neatness, forgiveness, and understanding. But an unclean mind has thoughts of anger, hate, and jealousy. So, student, we always have to help other. We always have to kill clean. Uh, our surrounding we also have to clean our home we have to keep our uh, things in its proper place correct student we don't have to scold other people we have to love other people and if other people has done any mistakes then you have to forgive them have you understood student now student find out how this unclean habit harm your health so student the first one is not brushing your teeth if you will not brush your teeth then what will happen student tell me yes correct student you get decay in your teeth your teeth will look yellow in color the your teeth will not look good uh, bad smell will come so student you if you have not brush your teeth your teeth will not look good so student here you have to write your resolution after thinking about what good you have learned from this lesson student resolution means a firm decision to do or not to do something you have to decide what the thing you have to uh, do what other things are good for you and what other things are bad so that you will not do that thing understood student so you have to write this thank you student keep learning